Hi guys, welcome back to Camping Bunny Bunny Buddies Numero Eleven O uh, with me, Kelly, Alyssa, Honk, and Miles. We are very ill. We have sore throats and stuffy noses. Um, it's not the only thing here. that's getting stuffed. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We actually bought a turkey for some reason. So, you know, so. anyway. Right, right, right. Pegging dildo for Christmas. <laughs> what kind? That's how I'm getting stuffed. I don't know about you guys. Did you actually? No. Oh, that would have been so funny if it was. For me. <laughs> oh my god! And it's black. Ooh. Amazing. <laughs> the Is there a black really movie pops out there? I kind of hope there's a black movie here. That would just add comedic value. Yeah, you can't discriminate. Yeah. Moby Huge? A Moby you don't Huge know about he's Moby a, Huge? A Moby Huge is a 70-pound penis. I'm so you can, looking this up. You can Google it right now. It is <laughs> catastrophic. Good God. <laughs> How There's would you one. fit that in your body? You're not supposed to. It's really more so for doing like weightlifting competitions. <laughs> oh yeah! Oh yeah! <laughs> Dumbbell curls. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, Adam and Eve is actually like a workout sponsor. They do a lot of <laughs> fitness equipment. Like the uh, pocket pussies are just like the little dumbbells and like. Yeah, it's just like a different heavy. version of a shake weight, really. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, you know what? Think about this. It actually could be a pretty good workout because, like, think about either how big the pocket pussy is, and then like a, a dildo. How the weight of that is what you put inside the pocket pussy. So, like, that's just you're just adding weights. You know what I'm saying? You're doing kegels with a pocket pussy. Fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alyssa is tapped out already. <laughs> no. Yeah. It's just like contributed nothing to that. Just doesn't care for you the You didn't even say hi. I did. No, you didn't. I, I think my mic is turned. <laughs> my bad. It's not picking me up as well. Mm. Well, um, first things first, I really wanted to talk about today. Uh, well, that actually Kelly really uh, brought up to my attention again because I actually forgot. I guess I'm a piece of shit. Uh, Betty White died. Betty White oh, fucking died. Yeah, yeah, Betty White. And I feel like uh, I feel like the world is legitimately gonna end soon because of this. There are so many memes about her and the Queen. Like, like at this point, just everyone thought they were immortal. Like the fact that, like, it literally feels like fake news that she's dead. Because there's like a ship. Uh, I saw a, a meme, or not really a meme, just a picture. That some magazine line accidentally put out a magazine a day early, um, or like on the day she died, that she was turning 100. So like uh, you could go to Walmart, see a magazine uh, that says Betty White turns 100, but she's actually dead at 99. Yeah, she was, it was like two weeks before her birthday, I think. Yeah. Damn. Well, they probably she were was like going. Golden Girls, right? Yeah. Sure. That's like. Yeah, Golden, Golden Girls. Girls, yeah. Yeah, so what's everyone's stance on Betty White, though? Stance? <laughs> yeah, I think everyone's around the same. She's pretty controversial. I don't yeah. know. I don't know. I was, <laughs> like, honestly, Betty White. I think she was this, this is going to be controversial. I could not give less of a shit about Betty White. I, I she really has know anything zero impact Girls. on my life whatsoever. I don't even know what she's famous for. Like, what even did she uh, do? She Being had, in the industry, yeah. Girls? She she what did industry? Golden Girls. She had a talk show. I never cared for it. Never uh, seen it. Me neither. My cousin was obsessed with Golden Girls, and it was actually like our joke that I hated Golden Girls because I <laughs> yeah, just like, didn't care for it. Yeah, it, it doesn't like, look like that good of a show. Yeah. <laughs> it it kind of was at a few parts. Like, it, it actually kind of was funny, but it's like full house kind of funny, you know? Like, yeah, it's, just, it's oh, the really old type of funny. Yeah. yeah. 
It's just old ladies being sluts. I think that's what I feel. <laughs> oh, is it? It is. I think Betty White was like the biggest slut too. No, that was Blanche. Blanche was a like, Blanche big old was slut. A whore. Yeah. So are the other girls from Golden Girls dead too? Dead, or? I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure like Betty was the last I'm pretty one. sure yeah, I'm pretty sure they were like pretty pretty old already during Golden Girls. Mm -hmm. So like yeah. the other ones They're definitely probably like sixties or seventies. Yeah. yeah. I don't know how long Maybe Golden Girls was released. I think it was forty years ago though. I think it was in the eighties, right? Golden Girls was yes. in the eighties. 90s. 90s, and their really? spinoff, The Golden Palace. Do you guys remember, speaking of spinoffs, do you remember when they did Fuller House? Oh, did yeah. Watch that? yeah. I watched yeah. like a little bit of it, but... Of it. it wasn't good. I don't... Yeah. It wasn't like bad, it just didn't like have the same effect. Maybe because we're grown up? Yeah. Or... And we don't really care? Vibe. I don't know. We... We care about it if it, no, it was an announced, you know, like it doesn't yeah. matter. Yeah, I don't uh, have you guys seen Co Cobra Kai? Yeah, I, I, I really couldn't give it. a shit about Cobra Kai. I feel like it's really <laughs> just for all the dads that love GI <laughs> Joe. Like for some reason, it's like the same audience. People who love GI Joe love Cobra Kai. And it's all the fucking dads, yeah. dude. It's funny because my dad likes Cobra Kai. He loves Cobra Kai, right? Yeah. I don't know if he loves, but he enjoys too. watching it. I think like Netflix should thing. put out more stuff, like, <laughs> unique stuff like a like, good game. I think they shouldn't be pushing out nostalgia shit that no one's... See, I, I also agree. Revamping shit, like, almost never fucking works. Like, the, I was told... Worse. You got fucking Matrix, the newest Matrix... Cheeks, fucking <sighs> garbage. I was so disappointed. I love garbage. The Matrix. I think in one of the episodes we looked up that uh, the Unreal Engine Five demo. That was fucking awesome. Yeah. But yeah, from what I've amazing. heard of the new movie, it's that the director was like kind of forced to make this movie with or without her. So she was like, "I'm just gonna make a shitty movie." It's like you're doing more harm than good by doing that. Yeah, what else have they like revamped. Um, well, like just bringing Star stuff Wars. back from the dead. Yeah, Star Wars, the entire new trilogy. Not really a revamp, though. Yeah, it was. It's an entirely the different sequels. story. Yeah. Sequels. Would the prequels also be a revamp or no? No, those are. No. I mean, they're prequels. Like they're just telling you what happened before. Yeah, they're it's still like Lord like of the Rings with the like, main story. Lord of the Rings yeah, and the Hobbit plan. are both really good, in my opinion. <laughs> I think they're both pretty good. I like Hobbit more, and they were actually the prequels. So, uh, I don't know. Do you just I, say you like the Hobbit more than the Lord of the Rings? I do. Well, so far. I haven't finished Lord of the Rings, but so far I think I've liked The Hobbit a lot more. Go ahead and yeah, finish The Hobbit. You... <laughs> Wait, what? They're, they're three hours long, but... Yeah, they they take forever, but, like, I, I, I... That's not to say that I don't like Lord of the Rings, it's just I think I liked the uh, characters a little bit more in The Hobbit. Like, I, I actually got to know them a little bit better, and I think I like that. What I didn't okay. like in The Hobbit was the uh, random dude whose, like, destiny was to kill the fucking dragon. And, like, I, I loved him as, I loved him at first, but, like, he, like, he's, like, a passive-aggressive little bitch. Like, he just let shit happen. With and, a like, family, or? What do you mean? Oh, with his, like, kids and shit? Yeah. No, I meant like like with the dwarves and shit. Like he's just like at first, like when he was first introduced, he seemed like a badass. But then he's just like, ah, yeah, no, I'm actually, I'm actually not. Um, I'm gonna go kill this dragon. You guys do whatever you're gonna do. I fucking guess. Uh, bye. And that's it. Oh. Like, I don't know. Huh. And did yeah. the sun kill the dragon? Word. What's up? His son helped know, kill the was... dragon. His son helped kill the dragon. Okay. Yeah. He like he like was like, Dad, look, it's a 
fucking arrow. He's like, son, you might have just done something. Oh, yeah, he rested the thing on uh, his shoulders or something. He was like, right. stay fucking still. Right. How did we get to this from Betty White? <laughs> <laughs> See, no one really cares about Betty this White. This is what I'm saying. Who gives a <laughs> shit about Betty White? Damn. Like, it sucks that just she died, but yeah, she oh has an you know, just really other thing. Too. You're interrupting. I... Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I just want to say one thing. Um, I haven't really felt anything for her because all she's been in my life has been fucking cameos. So I can't really feel for that. Right. Like, oh, she was been in The Simpsons. She was a voice in fucking Ice Age. It's like, who cares? Yeah. She was just like a powerful figure for some reason. I think it was just like all the talk shows she was on just added up and it was all that. Episode eight is what I was gonna say. Episode eight, she's literally in our thumbnail, so that's kind of that's kind of sucks. That's so funny. That's when I brought her up, yeah. Yeah. Well, no, no. That was when Hector uh, was ta- discussing his uh, grandma kink. Oh. Uh, <laughs> so I just put a picture of Betty White on the thumbnail. So, yeah. So she's not totally useless. Um, <laughs> Good for Clint. She's there to represent all people. <laughs> she's the oh, figurehead of all. He just Hector. left. I feel like his Wi-Fi just fucking croaked. Hopefully he comes back. But I guess the three of us will Um Is he texting me? No. Anyway. Uh so we missed like a few things. We it's been a fucking while since we've uploaded a podcast. Um I It's been to... very busy. Yeah. yeah. We've um, been what with COVID, what with Christmas, what with New Year's and shit like that. Hello, Honk. Welcome back. Hey, Honky. Fuck just happened. I have no idea. I have no idea mm-hmm. either. You were just gone after I said you have a he grandma was over kick. Betty White. Oh. <laughs> uh, I like cut out like while Kelly was mid sentence. Everything on my PC just like froze. Oh, oh that's weird. Um. Anyway, you didn't miss much. We were just saying that uh, she's on our thumbnail for episode eight and. and yeah. Oh, she it. is, huh? <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, we got something out of her. Right. Um, <laughs> she had a lot of mileage. <laughs> she had a lot of mileage. <laughs> Damn. Um, well, we did miss a lot over this entire time, and I th- just one of the things that we missed that we're going to talk about was Christmas. How was your guys' Christmas? Blessing. Good. <laughs> Good. Uneventful. How was yours? Um, actually, really, really good. I saw Spider Man on Christmas. I I oh, actually had a good right. time with my family. That's pretty fucking rare. Uh, Yikes! No, no, it's just like I'm usually like dreading. Oh, you went second. home with like to your mom's? No, I went over to my grandma's house, and my mom and her oh. husband were there, and then uh, my cousin was there, and we were opening I'm presents. Guessing and Bailey didn't food. come down. No, she did not. Oh. Mm. Yeah, who cares? Yeah, fuck Bailey. I miss Bailey. Fuck She's Bailey. Nice to me. <laughs> no. We um, make fun of moles together. <laughs> make fun of moles regardless. Yeah. <laughs> Hector, she called you. It's Squidward. fun to do it with her. <laughs> She's the first person to call you Squidward. What, Bailey? Yeah. Yeah, I know. I'm that's saying why, fuck Bailey. We, I don't yeah, give a shit about Bailey. Bailey. Yeah, fuck, fuck Bailey. Bailey. <laughs> fuck Bailey. <laughs> I love you, Bailey. <laughs> what was your guys' most favorite thing you got in Christmas? Good question. Um, Alan thing. made me a picture frame. He made a frame? From popsicle yeah. sticks? No, like <laughs> acrylic. Can you put glue uh... on it? <laughs> <laughs> Macaroni. <laughs> <laughs> I made, made it with love. <laughs> it makes her a fucking macaroni fucking thing. <laughs> yeah. and it's just like, oh, so what did you get me? Cut out. Fucking GTX 3070. Like... I didn't <laughs> get him that good of a graphics card. You got him a graphics card, though? Last year. Oh, last year? 
You guys were dating last Christmas? Yes, you know. We they were dating yet. They were in oh, the your situation ship. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> You guys are both in situationships at some point. It doesn't even matter. <laughs> Hector was Mr. Steal Your Girl. He was. Yep. Sleazy. Sleazy. What? <laughs> <laughs> Sleazy. Yeah. Uh, the favorite thing that I've gotten for Christmas, I honestly just want to say two things just because one thing is crazy awesome and one thing is just... It has scary. to be one. Fuck. <laughs> just kidding. Well, just, uh, uh, well, I was gonna. Okay. Um, <laughs> Freedom of speech doesn't exist. That's right. Idea to talk. <laughs> you got me a little bit jumbled here, Kelly. Um, <laughs> my favorite thing that I got in general has been proof Tony Stark has a heart. It is literally sitting on my desk. Oh, yeah, it's so, so fucking cool. cool. Um, you fished out of the river, huh? Oh, that's F. disrespectful. That's fucked. remember. F. Remember. No, remember the end game. <laughs> yeah, it was in a river. Yeah. Oh yeah, on. that's right. I forgot you put that on the. Yeah. Th- yeah. I forgot about that actually. Yeah. yeah. Wait, you know, now that I'm thinking about it, how wasn't it like lost in the wreck in Iron Man three when the Mandarin blew his house up? Or was no, it not? No. I. I don't really know where it was. I so I don't know where it would be. I don't think they had Stark Tower at the time or the Avengers Tower. Yeah, they did. They, Iron they Man Three was compound. after Avengers, and they had the uh, no Iron Man Three was right after um the all Avengers. That stuff. <laughs> wait, wait, wait! You do that you was want from to? Two. Wait. Wait, back up for a second. Hector, do you want to do that? I mean, I was just thinking about it, but I don't know. It's a little is late. He, is, we'll he av- it. is he available? Um, I could ask him. Right. Uh, maybe well, we'll uh, just save it for the next uh, one because yeah, we haven't done like the audio test and yeah, shit. Yeah, well, we'll, we'll just back up on that one again. Um, Continue, whoever was speaking. I, I think I am Kelly. so confused. Sorry. I asked him something in chat. Sorry. Okay. Um, I didn't think he'd verbally respond. Oh, what do you, what do you, what do you want me to do? You can text back, okay. Anyways, go ahead, Kelly. Damn. Um, <laughs> what was the most favorite thing <laughs> that I fucking start, got? Start. Oh. 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 What? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so Moles' thing was Tony confused. Stark's heart. You go ahead, Kelly. Awesome. I will pass <laughs> it. I will pass it to Alyssa. I will go see the things I've got. I'll be right back. You don't even remember. <laughs> so I, I, I was actually gonna say that the second best thing that I've gotten because it's just like the most practical so far has been my webcam because it's like super super good. Uh, but that's those are my two favorites. Now you can go. Ooh, I already did mine. Punky? You're telling me the picture the frame was your favorite, though? Like, I understand, man, I understand I sentimentals. I didn't get oh. anything else. A gaming chair? Oh, fuck. I forgot about that. You're, You're sitting in it. <laughs> gaming chair? And you um, went with the actually, picture frame? Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> um, I didn't cry when I got the chair. I cried when I got the frame. You cried? Oh, Aww. you're such a baby. I just really no, obsessed that's sweet. with Alan. It's okay. sweet, but it's <laughs> baby. Did he like yeah, come? Hold on. Hold on. Mm-hmm. Oh. So on the topic of the gaming chair, so Sam's roommate, um, she's had like a on and off like relationship thing for the past seven fucking years i swear to god and so they're like definitely not dating she's voiced that she doesn't want to date him so many times but he got her a 400 hundred dollar gaming chair for christmas <gasps> seeker lab isn't it yeah, yeah. it's seeker cut lab. it out yeah. cut it's him out, out. <laughs> i don't, out. I don't yeah. even know if she got him anything honestly i seriously <laughs> doubt it that's just so, so paven. yeah he got he got her the expensive as gaming chair and I think a memory card. Wow, a memory card. Yeah, like That's everything weird. totaled up to five fifty. Why was the memory card a hundred and fifty dollars? 
I have I don't know. It might not have been a man. It might have been something else. Are you talking about like like an SSD? Like does she have a PC? Yeah, she has a PC. Okay, so it was probably an SSD. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> what kind of well, maniac? Why else would he buy her uh, fucking Secret Labs gaming chair? For, so her, for her PS4? I don't know. It's no. easier well, to do OS. Why not? Honky, <laughs> <Well, laughs> <laughs> come on. Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, shit. Kelly, did you figure out what, you, what was your coolest thing? Or... Yeah, Kelly, why didn't why don't you have like, oh. a picture of all your stuff on your bed on Christmas morning? Yeah, the hall. <sighs> You're supposed to take because a hall it picture. wasn't. I didn't take a picture, and it wasn't a lot of stuff. Um, he got me a chessboard for both of us to play that we only played once. Heck, all right, right so far, a rock. Oh, yeah. I love chess, and Jeremy learned how to play oh, chess fuck, yeah. when we played it. Super fucking fun. Um, and then he got me this book full of like gay couples from the nineteen mm. or from the eighteen forties till the sixties wow. of just like them taking pictures in private and stuff. And I was like, mm, "That's pretty nice." I went through all that. It. it was nice, awesome. Usually, I'd be like, "This is kind of gay. I don't like it," but I was like, <laughs> "It's nice." Because that's usually like what gay couples have on their coffee tables. But I'm just like. I kind of like it. It's sweet. Are you going to put it on the coffee table now? <laughs> I don't. It's a we got like a TV piece. dinner tray. We don't even got a coffee table. As soon as you we don't even have a regular table. As soon as you guys can afford a coffee table, uh, definitely no a conversation no. piece. I, I think for my future apartment's uh, coffee table, I'm going to have the Moby Huge. Yeah. <laughs> that could be the coffee table. <laughs> yeah. Put some pegs on it. There you go. Yeah. yeah. Literally, like lay it down like horizontally, and then put like just like a glass panel on top of it. There's you know, your coffee. You know, some people make like the Lego uh, star destroyers, and then they like put it in like a glass case as a coffee table. I'll just do that with the movie huge. Solid. There you I'd go. say so. <laughs> nope. Are you put it like in a? Have you seen like those things where people put like? vinyl plastic ooey gooey stuff that in like uh, a little cube of like like oh, an apple resin. or something yeah yeah resin you should do that with resin that'd be a lot of fucking resin that's a lot of fucking resin yeah a couple gallons be worth it that is a moby huge size pocket pussy <laughs> of resin <laughs> <laughs> Having a pocket pussy for the the Moby Huge. What would you even call that? Fuck. Oh, yeah. um, the Grand wait, Canyon. The Bermuda Triangle. <laughs> the Bermuda. Diamond Mind. The Diamond Mind. <laughs> um, there you go. The Eighth uh, World Wonder. <laughs> <laughs> your mom. Um, your mom. That's it. That's, <laughs> that's that was cheap, but I feel it. <laughs> no, like in general, not like, your like mom a, like a your mom is like no matter who. Yeah, it's a your mom joke. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that shit's funny. Uh, With Christmas came uh, another holiday. Another big holiday, a holiday representing change. With change comes resolutions. Uh, Are you gay or something? I'm trying to segue into the next topic. (laughs) (laughs) New Year's resolutions, who got them? Um, I have a New Year's resolution that I actually do hope sticks this time. It's the most generic one that you're going to have every single time, but I'm not going to be stupid about it. Um, going to try to lose a lot more weight this year. Nice. That's a good nice. resolution. Yeah. Honky. So what are you going to be doing? Honky. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. What? <laughs> uh, what am, well, what am I, I going to be doing? I'm going to yeah. be... Uh, 
cutting out sugars. I'm going to be trying to be a little bit more active, probably take my dog on a few more walks. And as I like progress in this, I'm probably going to go from walks to jogs to uh, maybe even hitting the gym every now and then. But I don't think I want to hit the gym too, too much. Um, Swimming. Swimming. With, swimming. Swimming does help good. a lot. You know what's yeah. actually super good too? Trampoline parks. You sweat oh, like a bitch oh. at, at trampoline parks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that sounds so fun. Yeah, I, I'm just trying to think of like all the fun ways I can lose weight. Um, so hopefully, it works uh, rock like climbing. That. Oh, I rock climbing would do is that. Hard I would do that if I wasn't a pussy when it came to heights. Yeah, uh, there's one that I go to. Used to like, go to. Um, they actually have like a harness you get to put over your uh, your uh, crotch and stuff, and you just hook yourself onto the um, the thing. You just rock climb, and then once right. you're done, you just see Tyler. The- Tyler was doing that for a while, and he like oh, I yeah. remember seeing this thing where like he was like he had to like jump out and grab pegs that were like behind him but above him. If that makes sense, oh, like, like a, uncharted, kind of like that, yeah, and like. He, I remember he did it a few times, like just trying to do it. And like, there's this one time his fingers like touched them, but like he just kept on flying backwards. <laughs> <laughs> he just like face plants on the mat, dude. Oh, my oh god. god, that shit was so funny. Yeah, rock climb is cool though. It is. I, like- I, I, it's not like it's not fun. It's just like once I'm actually to the top, I literally shit my fucking pants. I'm like, how do I get down? Yeah. Well, like, they have, like, things for you. Like, they have stairs, I think, or they might not have stairs. They just have, like, an easy path for you to climb up and down. Oh, like, like repelling. You, uh, you just top? go down the rope, right? I don't yeah. know if there's a rope. I think there might be a fireman's pole, actually. For, like, some gyms, they have, um, like, they don't even have the harnesses. And I feel like they go pretty fucking yeah. high. No. Like, the one I used to go to was, like, 20 feet, maybe. I feel like it would be a good idea to, like, have, like, a thin wall between, not thin wall, like, a thin, thin walkway between the rock wall and, like, a foam pit, so that, like, no matter where you Uh, fall, you're fine. And, like, you, you can easily, like, start climbing as well. Well, like, the whole floor underneath the rock walls is, like, a thick ass like foam pad right it's just you still don't i still don't think i'd feel secure with that like i feel like if i hit my head if you hit your head you'll be fine you might get the wind knocked out of you if you fall from high up yeah but you don't do that with the 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 process (laughs) don't do that with a foam pit oh there he goes again (laughs) he's so offended oh there he is (laughs) he disagreed with you (laughs) He disagreed as well, yeah. You because I'm about to fucking die coughing. <laughs> Again, we are all terribly fucking sick. sick. Um It's just a flu. Yeah. It's just a flu. <laughs> He's about to mute oh. again. The no, flu doesn't I'm last for that. fucking days after. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I'm in- butt end of what I got. Well, yeah, I used resolutions. to love trampoline parks and rock walls, um, but not until I was, like, skinnier. Like, when I was chubby, I didn't really like them, because I couldn't really perform. I feel like... Cool. I, I also kind of feel that, you know what I mean? Like, I am, like, chubby, so I feel like maybe it's, like, <clears throat> also kind of like a good <laughs> thing, like, haha, look at the fat fuck climbing the wall. <laughs> So you're so aggressive. But yeah. Yeah, I like always felt like there were eyes on me. I still do. Go go with friends. Go with friends. Dude. It goes a whole lot smoother. At work all the fucking time. If I have like if one of my work shirts are a little bit tighter than the other, you'll see me all day just like pulling on it, trying to stretch it. Yeah. I hate like the gripping of it and lately i've been wearing like hoodies under my shirt when i go to work and that's the fit and it looks way better that way but like i i just hate that like i want to fucking i want to cosplay as fucking spider-man guys like that's the fucking goal here. 
He'll get there. <laughs> hey, Jack Black did it. Did it. You can too. Uh, I didn't know uh, this, and now I need to look it up. Thanks. Yeah, we he did. Like a... Nah, he sh- shook his ass. Like I don't think he was wearing any underwear under his. <laughs> fucking... He did. Um, there was like a video I saw where he was like reenacting the trailer Captain or something, America or something like that. Thor. In Hall, he was all fucking skimpied out for it. <laughs> yeah, I, I see him. He's, uh. Damn, he pulls it off, dude. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. He looks so sweaty. <laughs> oh, poor guy. See, I don't want to be Jack Black Spider Man. I want to be Tom Holland <laughs> Spider Man. Oh God, dude! Tom Holland's body right now is the fucking goal. Yeah. Is it? I don't oh, want to be God, jacked. Yes. I don't want to be jacked well. though. I just want to be skinnier. Like I don't... I don't really give a shit about being jacked. Maybe like once I am skinny, I might work on that. But like I, I don't care about that. I just want to lose the fat. Tired of being able to have like a bean dip and feeling the <laughs> recoil of their finger. Like it's so bad. <laughs> what? I think with the size you're in now, it's easier to buff it out, like put muscle into it rather than it being skinny because I don't want to burst your bubble or anything, but if you go skinny, you're gonna have a lot of a lot of excess skin. That's gonna be hard to get rid of. Yeah, so you wanna do the Is bulking and then the the yeah. like weight loss. Like stretch marks and stuff. Or yeah, like stretch marks are skin. stretch marks gonna be such a bad fucking rep. But if you get like lotion and stuff and just keep going in those areas, I think you'd be fine. Yeah, the stuff that's made for pregnant ladies. <laughs> oh yeah. You can't see it, but my 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 happiness just faded away from me. <laughs> I didn't mean that. I'm, no, <laughs> I'm sorry. No, no, Hector Hector just had to say like the pregnant ladies. What? No, they have oh. stretch mark cream for like pregnant ladies. I I know, I know, but like it's not. It's just like it's a just, fact. It's, yeah, it's, it's just it's just like a fact that you could. It's not me saying it. It's go on target.com. It's right fucking there. Okay. Why do you? It's know not like that? it was a secret. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm a human. I don't know. I've been around the world. Are you having a baby? <laughs> <laughs> Moving on, Alyssa, New Year's resolutions. Um, my only resolution was to stop letting people take advantage of how nice I am. Like, it's not really towards you guys specifically at all. It's more so like Alan and his friends and family, more so Ooh. family, like his sister. You know, Ooh. I'm just so all nice my to them. Homies hate that bitch. And she's so aggressive towards me for no reason. So I just want to be less forgiving. Because right. it gets to me, you know? Have more yeah. self-respect. Yeah. That's yeah. good. Yeah. That's a good goal. Good that's on, a, that's yeah. a good one. Nice. All right. Anyway, uh, now enough of the woman <laughs> talking in my fucking voice. <laughs> <airports. laughs> She's the weed. Uh, Kelly, you? I'm really scared to have a resolution because I don't want to pressure myself into doing it. But if I had to choose one, it would probably make uh, make uh, like a big splash when it comes to making a video game. Yeah, um, that's a pretty good one. I'm just very scared that that won't happen. So if I kind of put it behind my head, like have the mentality thinking like, oh, it's something I can do tomorrow. It'll probably get done faster. Um, I'm just kind of backwards. I have a backwards way of thinking. I just I <laughs> I'm really scared that it won't happen. That's mm-hmm. never going to be made. So if I like put less weight on that idea, then I think it would be done faster. It's something that's like inevitable in my mind but if i don't push it i think it'll it'll be fine see that reminds me for some reason of this of this idea that like uh you so say you have to like wake up early in the morning right Mm -hmm. and like you don't normally wake up early in the morning like you're normally like me waking up at like 12 or 1 in the afternoon um 
it's like it's like if you know you have something to do the next day then all of a sudden you can't fucking sleep and i don't right. know why what you're saying is reminding me of that but i feel like there's some kind of a parallel mm-hmm. I like I still light a fire under my ass, like hey, you haven't done it in a while. <laughs> like you gotta do it. But I'm also like easy come, easy go. Yeah, exactly. And you should be. Like you should take your own pace at it. Uh I mean like have like a end of the year deadline rather than a okay, I'm gonna do all this in a month, you know what I mean? That's true. That's why I was kind of like showing you guys. I was kind of encouraging myself, like, hey, you can Yeah, yeah, no, hype yourself up. We'll hype you up, that'll be pretty cool. Cool. Yeah. yeah. So is That's that like a career advancement thing or just something you want to do? Before I die, I want to make a video game. Uh, I don't know if I want to make it into a career, but it's something I really, really, really want to do. And I really want to make it and something I've had ever since I was little. Um, but it sucks because if you have all those skills you can't really put into a career, then you're like, fuck, I, you have no career and you've been wasting all your time. But right. I'm not thinking well, about that right now. I'm easy you, come, easy go. You should never easy think about go. it as wasting your time. You never know when the big break is going to be, but there could be one, you know what I mean? Yeah, but for how old I am now, it just sucks seeing everyone else around me, around my age, has already kind of figured out a career or going to school for something like that. Bro, trust oh, me. I, I it's, get me started. It's I fucking cheeks. There's, I know people having kids. I know people getting married. I know people who are fucking got, going into their masters who are just an yeah. older than me. It puts it, it down. It does, but at the same time, like, you're living your pretty good life, right? Like, you, you've you already done, like, a lot of shit that you've always wanted to do. Yeah, um, like, you just moved to a different state with your boyfriend and got your own place. Like, that's a pretty cool fucking thing. That's pretty yeah, fucking I, huge. I'm in a really good position. Like, I'm not shitting on the spot I am. I just wish I was somewhere advancing a career or advancing well, everyone's career. gonna always want more no some yeah have. some something like that's literally something i do all the time i i literally like get very very anxious about like uh where i see myself right now and where i should be right now but oh, like yeah i always is... give myself a panic attack when i think about that yeah but it's like maybe we could stop talking about that. <laughs> I, I don't know <laughs> but sometimes like I've been noticing, like, uh, every time I get a new job or working, it's like I sit for by myself, like, uh, like alone in silence for a quick sec, just thinking, like, I'm in this fucking spot right now. Like, I did that back in Big Lots, so where I was just like daydreaming. I was like, what the fuck am I doing here? Dude, but here, I was the same way. Every fucking day of my life at Chipotle. Yeah. I'm like I. I'll be like believe. looking for jobs on my phone on my break. I do the same thing, yeah. And I'm like, it's all a- right, which one's gonna help me like progress something that I'm actually gonna be happy with? Yeah. Well, That's aren't it. you gonna go to school? I'm going to as soon as I go to Washington. Okay. I'm in no rush to do it here because, well, I'm just in no rush to do it here. <laughs> I don't yeah. really know what to do as far as like career like i know i said uh psychologist therapist 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 um and i still hold true to that but like i that's that's a lot that's a long way to go and the entire way that i'm going there i'm just gonna be like i'm fucking up so bad i'm fucking up so bad i'm fucking up so bad yeah like i don't know i think it's just how everyone is like i feel like no matter where you are, you're just always going to be in, like, this weird state of, I could be doing better right now. Yep. Definitely. But, I mean, I don't think that's anything to scoff at, though. I feel like you shouldn't let your memes be memes. If you want to make a fucking video game, go make a fucking video game. <laughs> I bought a 3D printer because I wanted to, God damn it. <laughs> And that game that you shoot Christmas thing. Wait, what? 
that your printer kind of counted as a Christmas present because you got so much fucking money for Christmas. <laughs> yeah. I got like three hundred and fifty dollars for Amazon, and I was like, "What the fuck am I gonna buy?" I bought a Chilling Rain booster box, a three D printer, filament, a new phone case, and in and a belt, and a, a little belt? AirPod. A little AirPods case for Janelle that looks like the uh, No Name Spirit, I think its name was, from uh, nice. Spirited Away. Mm. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. Cool, cool. You could have got a mail order sure. bride. Sure. Got a bunch of... That could have been a down payment on that one animatronic sex doll we were looking at. <laughs> <laughs> no, but see, I can print that now. You can print it now! <laughs> print the pieces. <laughs> Dude, I was actually so fucking scared. There was, like, a thing on Thingiverse. Thingiverse is, like, the 3D model website where you can pull from and, like, start printing immediately. There is a legitimate doll on that. Like, a, like a fucking... Like full I, size. I, it feels weird to say, but a child-sized doll you can print that's, like, articulated. Uh. And I'm like, this is definitely <laughs> not okay. Concerning. <laughs> a little bit. I'm pretty sure they're fucking it. <laughs> yeah, we're having tea parties. That have 3D Let's yeah. have that idea. <laughs> Benefit of the doubt. He's just getting caught. <laughs> it's like it's like uh, that movie Her. He just like sticks the phone inside the doll. What? Never. He never that. did that. Well, I know he didn't do that. I'm just saying he's talking to his fucking phone, but it has a doll. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. Think the phone, like, hired a lady to fuck him or yeah. something. Yeah, yep. Wait, that's how the... I never watched the movie. The, way, way to I guess a better this. example would probably have been, like, Blade Runner 2049. Yes, you're When the hologram right. girl... Yeah. She had some nice tits. That, <laughs> that was pretty cool. And it, Anna de Armas? No, or the, the, other uh, oh. the other girl. Yeah. Do you remember the giant hologram? Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. Was that her tits or someone else's? Probably sure it her. I think it was her tits. I don't know. Fucking. Um, that movie was a trip, but I actually thought I, I think I really liked it. I liked it a fuck ton more than the original Blade Runner. That's a revamp I can Me fucking live too. with right there. That that was a good revamp. I think it's the revamps that no one's really gonna care about that end up being pretty fucking good. Like I everyone said, was gonna give a shit I mean, about Blade Runner was pretty big. No, no, like, no, it was big, but day. it wasn't like as big as like The Matrix, Star Wars, fucking Indiana Jones or some shit like that. Like hey, I liked all the Indiana Joneses. I loved Indiana Jones. It's just. I like if they were to revamp it, I don't think they do a good job. That's that's kind of what Crystal Skull was. Crystal Skull, I thought was pretty good. I don't think it was. Yeah, that exactly. Bad. I, I love the it... ant scene. I think right? the nuclear, the te- nuclear town, they got like good set pieces. I yeah. really liked it. It's scary. Like you're in a suspenseful like spot, and the fucking giant ants come in and just eat this whole guy. You're like, holy right? shit, that is so cool. Yeah, I thought yeah, it was that was a good. good revamp. Yeah, and I don't even know if it was like even technically a revamp. Yeah, I think was, a, I think a revamp Henry Ford's entails age was a big skip. I think a revamp entails new characters that would be there for any coming sequels after that. So, like with well, Star Wars, yeah. for example, it's like the passing of the torch kind of a thing. No, I don't think they were passing any torch because in the end, he was all like. Uh, his son was going to grab his hat, wear it. He's like, nah, bitch. And he took it and <laughs> Nah, off. bitch. See, like, that's why I think they can't revamp Indiana Jones. I feel like it's definitely lived its life, and yeah. I think I'm okay with that. I don't it was, think they're like, going to... Re- like, the hint of it, but then, like, oh, yeah. Then, yeah, they didn't. But, yeah, it was Henry Ford's son. It was a new character. Um, but, yeah, I'd say it was a revamp because, like, the age skip, because Henry Ford was hella young in the original ones and then he's fucking gray haired and shit in the crystal skull right honestly the they should just situation make, with star wars like jungle cruise is what they can fucking do they can just keep making sequels to that because it's somewhat indiana jones ish like uh, 
Yeah. Right? World War Two era adventure. It's... I don't know when Indiana Jones was, but I don't think it was, it was during... during it was during World War II. I think II. one of them was. I, I think Crystal Skull was definitely in, after like, that. Yeah, it was, um, I think, the 60s or 50s in uh, Crystal Skull. By the way... But in it, 1 and in 3, there was Nazis in there. Uh, by the way, Harrison Ford, not uh, Henry Ford. Henry, Henry. I was saying Henry Ford? What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Um... Let me look that up really quick. Look what up. It's Henderson Ford. Henderson. <laughs> Crystal Everybody Skull. I am lying. Uh, like released and taking like place 19 years, years after the previous film. It is set in 1957. Holy oh. shit. Literally doesn't even sound right. I feel like they had like newer cars in that movie. Well, yeah. (laughs) Harrison Ford has some fucking fucking meat sticks for fingers. Holy shit! They're probably bloated. Imagine all the coke he does. What? He probably stole some from Carrie Fisher. I'm pretty what? sure Harrison has for sure once in his life done coke. I have no doubt about that in my mind. Yeah. I think <laughs> Yeah. He wears that earring. Like he, we don't know. <laughs> we <on>. don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that one little earring on the gay side. Yeah. Oh, yeah something's up here. <laughs> What's the gay side? I think it's the left, ain't yeah. it? So, um, there was, like, apparently there's, like, there's never, ever actually been a gay side. It was really just men who wore earrings in the 80s in general, everyone thought. Um, but, like, as time progressed, they said that there was a side. And it was, like, literally right or left, so it didn't even matter. As long as you had, like, one earring in, they thought you were gay. So, it's childish. Yeah, both. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I think it's always been like a childish thing. That's why I was like bringing it up. <laughs> My dad <laughs> actually joke. like literally didn't want me to wear necklaces, didn't want me to wear rings, he didn't want me to wear earrings. So when I got my earrings, like you could tell my dad came a long fucking way because he was okay with it. Uh uh-huh. Yeah. Not that he oh, couldn't be because like progression. Yeah, it was really good. Um, I'm just glad that he's a little bit more, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, Hip. Mature? Hip. Hip. <laughs> that works. <laughs> With it. With the times. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> uh, understanding. Understanding. Woke. Fuck, there's another word. Not woke. I, I wanted to say I was going to say woke. woke. <laughs> um... Lit oh. 420, blaze at 69. <laughs> 420. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, well, never mind, children. Um, <laughs> but yeah. We're, we're, what the fuck did that even stem from? Ace. We were talking about revamps. Um, like, were we on Christmas? We all have ADD. We were on New Year's, and then we kind of... Went yeah, to like New Year's career paths and then fucking 3D printing and then movies. Disneyland? That's the next topic. It kinda, <laughs> yeah, think, let's yeah. roll with it. We can, we can arch it to that because they own uh, Indiana Jones. They own it. You're right. You're right. Yeah. Indiana Ride is a piece of shit. Man, fuck it always breaks. Name. Okay, I I, I'm going to well, be straight I up. I, Disneyland. I fucking hate Disneyland. It was oh. like. It was literally so goddamn boring at Disneyland. It's all it is is walking. Some immersion. I will say, the only thing they fucking nailed was immersion. Fucking Star Wars Land was awesome. You actually felt like you were on, what was it, Tatooine? I think it is. And it's like, not Tatooine, by the way, but whatever. Oh, oh, 
We, we got a fucking expert over here. What is it? Uh, I've been there three times. It's called Galaxy's Edge. On, um, it's on. Uh, it's on a planet. It's right. a uh-huh. planet much. Uh, hold on. What's your facts? Yeah, yeah. I know the. I know the. Fa- it's yeah, on yeah, yeah. bot two. You want to throw hands? Throw them, Kelly. Let's fucking get this going. <laughs> no, I'm, no. Um, I agree. Disneyland can be overrated sometimes, but the some immersion's cool. It's a treat. I, I will say commercialization like, sucks. The Rise of the Resistance, which is the only other ride that's in uh, Star Wars Land, um, it is pretty fucking amazing when it comes to immersion. You literally, once you're actually on the ride, which, by the way, I waited like two and a half hours to get on the ride. Um, fucking, yeah, it was, I wouldn't That's say it was worth about, two and yeah. a half hours, but it was definitely worth at least like an, like an hour and a half kind of a wait, I think. Mm. Um, the immersion was super good. Every All the cast members were like acting like uh, the Imperial Guards or whatever the <laughs> fuck, Empire. And like... You would go into this, like, little chamber room where, like, Kylo Ren starts cussing you out, calling you slurs and shit like that. <laughs> uh, and then they lightsaber cut open a door for you, and then you walk through. And then all of a sudden, like, you literally don't oh. even know where the fuck in the park you are. Like, it's so good like that. You feel like you're on a fucking ship. And I don't even I have, know how they do it. I have a personal story after you're done. I have a big personal story. With the Galaxy's Edge. Are you done talking? I don't want to... Go ahead. I, I know I interrupted you, and that wasn't cool, but... No, you probably um, So, the date was September <laughs> 2nd. Jeremy's birthday. I went to uh, I went to his house. His not actual house. I went to where he was living at the time. And we were like, let's go to Disneyland. I was like, okay, cool. So we went to Disneyland, and then we got the Park Hopper tickets. So we mm-hmm. went to California Adventure and saw the Avengers Campus. Mm-hmm. We only went there once. Then we came back to California, or not to Disneyland, to Galaxy's Edge. And Jeremy wanted it, the lightsaber. He, the, the lightsaber. The, the lightsaber. The expensive one, right? I don't so, know which one the expensive Is it the one you build or the one you buy? It's the one you build. Okay. So four hundred dollars later, we were in this little, uh, we were in this fucking little room, doing like little uh, seminar or not seminar, just like the big celebration. Like you got the lightsaber, but it's not much of a celebration when there is three other kids, a toddler and a baby, all in the same family, <laughs> making a fucking lightsaber with Coco Melon on YouTube for a baby that's screaming its head off in the background, oh talking God. over the lady Jeez. doing the whole the whole celebration. Oh, immersion was ruined. God, and I have been swindled four hundred dollars. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh you yeah, because half of the money is the experience. So I was talking to a guy who went apparently the same day we did, and I was like, I was just pissed. I was like, just so fucking let down by Disneyland. I really wanted a lightsaber, but it was fucking two hundred twenty dollars for a fucking lightsaber. I think it was that. And so, um, yeah, well, did you only get one or did you get two? There was no chance in hell I was getting two. It was just for Jeremy. You paid $400 for one? It was two hundred. Mm, let me see. Let me see. I, I think it was 400 in total that day. But Did you build a droid uh, too? No, he wanted to. I was like, fuck that. Wait, so was the family, were they each building their own lightsabers, or was it yeah. one or two? Yeah, I mean, wow. the baby was, like, screaming, and I was like, dude, seriously? But then she, the the mom put on YouTube for it, and I was like, are you fucking for real? Like, this is a lot of money. I'm surprised yeah. the cast members didn't do anything about it. Seriously? It's an awkward, it's an awkward situation, but... Like, come on, like, this yeah, is pricey. you should really know when your kid should be somewhere. I was literally Read telling... the room, me, bitch. I was <laughs> telling Janelle, Escort like, the baby out. <laughs> Escort the baby out. 
<laughs> Use your lightsaber on it. <laughs> I was telling you know, there's two things I was talking to you know. uh, One of them was I'm if I have when I have my kid, I am not gonna bring them here until they are competent. Like literally until they will not cry or shit their fucking pants. Like I mm-hmm. will not take them to Disneyland or any yeah. theme park like that. Two, uh, I also said that if I build a lightsaber and mine's red, I'm going to scream at the top of my lungs, bring me the younglings. Um, what? From, from Star Wars? I kn- <laughs> yeah, I know where it's from. It's like, what? <laughs> Talk about immersion. <laughs> if fucking kid gets impaled. <laughs> Oh, shit. But, but no. Jeremy, oh, I'm sorry. Right, continue, continue. No, you go. I was interrupting. No, you go. I okay. Exist. Okay. <laughs> so Jeremy's got the uh, Kyber crystals, and he had this yellow one he was saving because if you put a new crystal in, it'll make a new color and it'll make a new sound, like the hmm sounds. Mm-hmm. And he went with green, and then he went with he had the yellow. But it, it likes really, it's like kind of distorted because I think you dropped it in water. Oh, so it's like, <laughs> and it makes all these weird sounds. <laughs> but that really good. That's when, that, good. when we were there, I'm immersed. When, we, <laughs> when we were there, the employees are kind of flippant and they were like kind of rushing us along, which I didn't really feel too appreciated. Yeah. I, I, I want to sound too Karen y, but it's like, this is a lot of money, guys. And it's you like literally- realize. That's what I'm fucking yeah. saying. Like, I like, like, I can understand their perspective. Like, it's like, oh, sorry, we just need to rush you along. We need to get you through here. But it's mm-hmm. also like, we're paying so fucking much for this shit ass experience. Like, uh, another thing um, Janelle was saying was like, okay, so in order to get the tickets in the first place right now because of COVID, you had to like reserve them. And so, like, as only a certain amount of people can reserve it. Bro, I swear to God that rule doesn't actually even fucking exist. Uh, there was like, like there was people. so many people at Disneyland. Yeah, every ride was at least an hour long wait. Like that should not be the case for a fucking COVID run. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Maybe no that's shot. why you have COVID now. Yeah, you think that's. What I was about thinking it? about that, but I think I had my sore throat before before Disneyland. It might have just made it worse going to Disneyland. Oh, well, honestly, yeah. So, but yeah. Disneyland got the treats. Disneyland got the 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 sodas. Oh, they got the isn't like a bag of, it's so, like twenty dollars. It's it's a treat. You know, what I mean, it's a <laughs> pricey treat. A thing of popcorn at Cars Land's pretty pricey, but you oh, God, you're damn. Yeah. You My love favorite it. snack is the frozen lemonade. <sighs> oh, they fun. have. I get like three of those. Change your pants, Kelly. <laughs> yeah, let me get clean my cum puddle. Sorry. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> well, we were so that was like what we were kind of like just doing instead of like rides. <laughs> we we're like, all right, well, if we're not gonna have fun with like waiting in <laughs> fucking line, we're at least gonna like try the food that we keep seeing. Oh, on sometimes TikTok. the food lines are so long. Who was the food lines weren't that bad, but um, but the. Food itself was actually decent, at least what we tried. I was a little bit let down by the blue milk. I was expecting something pretty fucking... Oh, true. Oh, yeah. That was my most favorite thing, thing there. there. I the blue it. milk? Did you have a cosmic cookie, though? No, I didn't want to get high. <laughs> <laughs> the cosmic cookie was pretty fucking good. It was like a cream cheese filling. It was so, it was so fucking Ooh, good. That yeah. sounds yummy. It was really yeah. good. Isn't the, the blue milk just, like, Food it's coloring, though. pretty much like, just a slushy like, sugar. it's just like a sugary slushy and it's not even that sugary like someone said it's overly sugary I was like this seems like the like a good amount honestly uh, um, let me look at the ingredients right quick because it's <laughs> kind of like a frappe in it's texture yeah um, galaxies edge ingredients it's a vegan thing uh, rice <laughs> milk Dole pineapple, coconut silk, blue food coloring, watermelon chunks, chunks? and Hobbyland drag- dragon fruit flavoring drops. I didn't so. get any of that in mind. What the this fuck? Sounds, 
good. That sounds it's, fucking it's it's really it's good. Sweet milk? I didn't get a hint of any of those fucking flavors. You got to go above and beyond with their like presentation with food. Like that's like a big part of them going people going there is to vlog the food shit they make. That's why that's why we were trying it. We were like just disappointed. We we're like, "Oh, it's too food." Well, did you try either the iconic turkey leg or chicken leg or the churro? Uh, fun fact: mm-hmm. churros are sold like in ninety percent of the food courts in Disneyland for some reason. So I didn't feel like it was that special to get a churro, while as most special. some other things are like sold in only one spot. Like the cosmic cookie, we only saw at one stand in uh, in uh, the Marvel Land. Uh, we went to uh, Pim's Test Kitchen. We got the little buffalo chicken pretzel, which mm. was mediocre at best. Oh. Mm. Um. Cars Land has like a like a chili cone queso. We didn't try it, but I kind of wanted to. <laughs> the oil pan. <laughs> the oil pan. <laughs> um. Yeah. I didn't try anything from the Pim Kitchen. I the all the majority of the stuff that I got was from the Galaxy's Edge. I didn't. I kind of wish I tried more food in Galaxy's Edge. I don't know if they had anything other like specialty, like nerdy shit, other than that blue milk. Hmm. Yeah. Oh wait, guys, guys, have you heard of the the Star Wars Cruiser thing, the hotel? Oh what? yeah, 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 yeah. It's like a, I don't know if we talked about it on the channel. It on this seems year, like a fucking waste of money. <laughs> like in it's... your, oh my god! So you know the kid from uh, uh, what's the Goldbergs? Nope. It's it, it's just some dork from ABC. So he was like, <laughs> him and this lady gave out a cringy presentation. On the Galaxy's Edge, the Star Cruiser, and it looked so cheap, and it makes you feel look. Oh. It, it, it's uncomfortable to watch, yeah. and people are pulling their tickets out because the tickets are like a thousand dollars for a night or something. Yeah, and it's all planned out. It so basically, it was this whole thing where like they were, I think they were just promising like. A really, really immersive experience. Like even the cabins were gonna yeah. look like something out of a ship or something like that. And they kind of did, but they didn't look comfortable in the slightest. And like, they don't even look, like the props don't even look like Star Wars. They look like knockoff Star Trek. Right, exactly. <laughs> and like, it, I don't know, it, it, whatever it was was not worth the fucking price of what they were trying to claim it was. I was excited for the stuff that was going to come out with it, like vlog channels coming up, like, well, let's beat the Rebels. It's like, that would have been a cool thing to watch. Right. But I would have never, ever wanted to ever do anything like that. Right. For that cost, it would be just too, too you, much. You know, let's circle through hotels, actually, really quick. Have you heard of the Taco Bell Hotel? Oh. No. That is I right next. I'm shocked Alyssa hasn't. That's, like, right next to your house. Really? Oh, really? Yeah, it's down in the desert, and it's. Is it really? Yeah, it's uh, you know where the Hard yeah. Rock thing was? I think it's in Coachella. I'm uh, booking a flight right now. <laughs> but um, there is a Hard Rock Cafe hotel, which I think got taken down and is now the Taco Bell hotel. What and the, the Taco Bell <laughs> hotel uh has like towels that are like look like sauce packets. Uh, you sleep in a bed that looks like sauce packets. Uh, mm-hmm. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner is whatever thing, anything you want from Taco Bell. Uh, they have poolside um, Taco Bell. They have margaritas at the pool. Right. They have like uh, alcoholic oh, stuff, yeah. right? Like, oh, yeah, yeah. They do. They do have alcoholic fun. stuff. They also have like little like they have like a swim team that like what? does like a little show and they're so also dressed swimming? up like sauce packets that's their go that's their biggest marketing tool it's actually pretty cheap too and that's actually so, that's so, that's one of the things i'd like to do i don't even like taco bell but i can't imagine that this one would be that bad it's Are called the bell 
the uh, Cartoon Network um, hotel. That one seems like a waste of money as well, because it just looks like you get a bed with, like, a character on it. Like that's Yeah, a... it's just, like, a themed room. Right. Doesn't seem like it was, I'm like, immersive well. at all to, like, get you into the universe of the character or anything. It was just like, oh, here's some bed sheets with Ben 10 on them. Like, eh. Yeah, bed sheets and, like, a poster on the wall. <laughs> yeah. Kind of lame. Oh, I'm yeah. definitely the bell. Who would stay here? At the at the bell, yeah, not the bell. I say that. Oh, <laughs> you mean the curtain I, network? <laughs> I would say the bell because it's cool, near cool places. It's in a desert. Okay, you can get like a lot of water parks or something. But it looks like the Cartoon Network hotel. It's like not near anything. Yeah, they don't. They don't have like anything. Hollywood? It's in Cal. Wait, it? I, I didn't actually know that. I thought it was in like Colorado or something. It's in Pennsylvania. What? Oh, what the fuck? What are you doing in Pennsylvania? <laughs> Besides being racist. <laughs> California is that way, or Florida is down there. Yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah, um, I'm looking at this the bell. It's two hundred for a king bed with a pool view. I don't know why you'd need a pool view. Okay, so well, the one without a pool view with the king bed is one seventy. I save thirty dollars. I, I don't think the pool is anything impressive. They just have the show. That's it. Yeah, you could watch it from the comfort of your balcony. You have a balcony? I, I think it's only so. a two. I don't think the bell's that big. I think it's only a two-story building. Yeah, the two stories have balconies. <laughs> oh, it's uh, in Palm Springs. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I told oh, you it was down there. You said Coachella. And I, I, thought like, Coachella's was Co- not that I thought close. it was Coachella. Coachella's like 40 minutes away. Never mind. This is like right next door to me, basically. <laughs> yeah. 3.4 miles. Walking distance. Like, Wait, yeah. <laughs> no, really that fucking close? I didn't know it was that close. Yeah, I just live in Cat City. I'm just down the road. Oh my yeah, god. On, yeah. So what you're saying is next time Hector comes down and next time Kelly takes a good old visit, we're going to yeah. skip seeing you and go straight we're to the bell. We're going to the bell. <laughs> we're going to the bell. Let's go to fucking Vegas. What are we doing in this Taco Bell hotel? Fuck it's Vegas. We're going to the bell. <laughs> I don't know about you, Kelly, but I would love a sauce packet. <laughs> Thank you very much. Whatever. Dude, if they oh, had no, I'm crazy. a casino, the bell, oof. It's I'm over. looking at it. looks fun. Like it's a fun looking place. But I also want to visit like Area 15 and the Yeah, true. I, I want to go to all that cool stuff over there. It goes let's plan a Vegas vacation. We tried to, so. but then we're yeah. poor. We're all poor. We're poor. I hate being poor. I'm still it's poor. Fun. I'm gonna move to Washington before we take any more fucking trips. Unless that trip <laughs> is to Washington. What's in Washington except rain? Hockey? Anything else? <laughs> no one else cares. <laughs> my my future home is in Washington. I don't know why you want to settle down here. Is it near Seattle or um I was thinking either like the highest I'd probably go is Tacoma. But after visiting Vancouver, I actually really love Vancouver. I like the He just uh, wants to live with Honky. Yeah. No, that's like the convenience of it. He actually did convince oh. he convinced me that Vancouver actually is pretty sick. I also looked the at the entire uh, time Colorado. I was he saying how I don't like it here. I like Vancouver. I don't see what you had I don't really know the problem you have with it. The people are shit. That really? is my number one argument all the time. Well, how are they shit? They're like, um Okay. Not to get all like controversial or whatever, but there's a lot of like country people, like conservative Republican type people. That shit just gets annoying. Yeah, like ye ye ass motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> like I, th- liter- I thought Washington was a blue state. I um, think it is. It's just maybe, but like the area I'm in, like I don't know. I think oh. more towards Seattle's probably a lot more blue. Yeah. yeah. Oh, for sure. Yeah. And like Portland, Oregon is supposed to be 
like a little more like, the times, <laughs> I guess. No, like, that place is horrible. Yeah, Portland. it's worse than know. fucking. It's, it's worse than Seattle. Slogan is keep Seattle weird. So yeah, keep that's Seattle where you see weird. shit and piss everywhere. I okay. want to go to Seattle so bad to see if I see anything about Phoenix Jones. Who? Phoenix Jones. You guys don't know about Phoenix Jones? He was he was a real life superhero. He's a guy who was like an uh, M- MMA fighter that I like really know how to. Quiet Phoenix him. Jones is an American real life superhero, initially wearing a ski mask to. Intervene in public assault. Forder later developed a full costume and adopted Phoenix Jones. That's yeah. cool. It is cool. Wow. I thought it was really cool, but then he like kind of went down in media in a bitch way. Like I think he pepper sprayed a bitch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's why I really want to see if there's anything <laughs> like any remnants of Phoenix Jones. What happened? It's been over a decade. And we're still here in Seattle wondering, whatever happened to Phoenix Phoenix Jones? Jones. He's like kick-ass in real life, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. He was pretty cool. He actually like got like a whole band of people together, too. He was from his own little fucking (laughs) Justice League. So. So, yeah. So people just wanted to remake kick-ass, yeah. Kinda. I mean, he had, like, a shield at one point, like Captain America. Oh, wow. Uh, his little lair was actually in a comic book store behind a shelf, a secret door shelf. That's so cool. Yeah, I thought it was fucking sick. I think it's dumb how he unmasked himself, though. Oh, yeah. he did? He did? Yeah, he, he did. did. He he was like, once they asked him who he was, he's like, ah, yeah, I'm this guy. This guy right here. Well, yeah. <laughs> So, he's gonna get Ant made game. pretty hard. <laughs> oh, don't say that. Shut the From Spider Man 1. Shut the fuck up. Green Goblin came in and blew up Ant <laughs> May's. Uh, was it a hospital room? I think it was just her regular ass bedroom. Yeah, it was just she was praying, room. and then he was like, Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> I know, no prayer bitch. for you, bitch. <laughs> She was actually Whereas... praying for him to come, and he came. Oh, wait, did she <laughs> really? Her prayers were answered. Yeah. Oh, what the fuck? I pray for the gobby, and she, he came and fucking almost blew her up. <laughs> oh my god. I pray for the gobby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. All right. Well, uh, we're going to have to wrap it up right there. Yep. Uh,. Thank you, everybody, for listening to this week's episode. Uh, hopefully, we get the next one out in a timely manner this time. Um, make sure you guys. Well, we all got to- COVID, so we have more time to record episodes. Hopefully, um, I mean, yeah. So go ahead and check out uh, Hector Alice Major's channel on YouTube. Go ahead and check out Lissy Cat on or Alyssa Cat, sorry, on Twitch. I need to change that on the uh, podcast screen, actually. Uh, Kelly has nothing. He's kind of boring, but he's fun to talk to. Check out his future (laughs) video game. His future future video game. game. Correct. Whenever whenever we get it dropped. Uh, Check out my Twitch. I stream pretty regularly on Apex and all that good stuff. Uh, And also listen to the previous episodes in case you were wondering what we were talking about when we said Hector's uh, grandma kink. So, uh... Uh. Yeah, guys, thanks for listening to this episode, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. See you.